Hello, James again from the 11 Plus Tutors. Um, today I'm going to talk about a, a real basic that I expect kids to be able to do when they first come in to tuition. Um, and the reason why I'm going over this now is because um, there's a real mixture. Some kids are being taught this at school, um, even in year four, and other kids are not. And I'm finding kids that are starting year five that don't know about column multiplication or with multiple digits. Um, so this is a really important thing before we even get started with tuition. Um, so I'm going to go through this first. With this, um, I've, I've graduated it, so I've got um, a two-digit number times a one-digit number, a two-digit number times a two-digit number, and a three-digit number times a three-digit number. Um, so here we've got units and tens, units and tens, but on this one we've got units, tens and hundreds. So with this, the second row, this is what we're going to be using to, to direct the multiplying. So the units here, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21. Now we'd normally carry the 2, there's nothing there, so it's 2, 1, 6. Next, we're going to start with the units on the bottom number first. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. Um, but then what we've got to do is now multiply the tens. What we're actually, in effect, we, in effect what we're doing is partitioning the problem. So we're multiplying all the units, then we're multiplying the tens, then we're adding everything together. So what we need to do is drop down the row. Uh, because we're now dealing with the, the tens here, we're going to step out using the zero as a placeholder. Three times two is six. Three times seven is 21. Now, I always say to kids, don't be afraid of the gap. Gaps are fine. I always teach kids to put the zero as a placeholder. Easier on the eyes. Then what we do is add these together. So we're actually adding the multiple of the units, the multiple of the tens, six, seven, three, two. So going through, we're going to take this process a step further. Now we're doing three digits times three digits. So we've got three times one, three, three times two is six, three times seven is 21. Then we're moving to 10. So we drop down the row, we step out using the zero to move out to the 10. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times seven is 21. Put zero as a placeholder. But now we're going to multiply by the hundred. So we go down the row again. This time we're stepping out to the hundreds here. So we put zero, zero. That's really important. This is the bit that most kids forget to do. Okay, most kids forget to step out to, to the column in question. So, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times seven is 21, then we've got a gap here and a gap here, then we add these together. Zero, zero, nine. Um, but imagine that this problem here, um, I'm just choosing this one randomly, imagine that the problem was actually a decimal problem. So we start with this without worrying about decimals, then when kids first come in, we start introducing them to decimal addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Imagine this was 7.2 times 3.3. .3. Now what we'd actually do is ignore the decimal points. We'd still do exactly the same thing here. I always get kids to write the question out, underline the decimal places. So you've actually got two decimal places. So what we say is write the thing out and bounce it back in at the end from the right, the number of decimal places in the whole question. So we've got one, two, one, two. So in that case, it would be 23.76. I hope you found this so um, useful. This is really, really important. It's a foundational thing that we expect kids to be able to do. 
We get bright kids coming where certain schools have not actually covered this year. Um, we're happy to teach you, but we prefer it if kids come in with the ability to do this already, but we really can't progress uh, much further in the maths until kids can grasp this. And all of this, of course, is built on the foundations of knowing times tables almost immediately. That's really important. Um, so this is really aimed at sort of year fours, maybe the occasional year five, it's still bright, but they just haven't covered it. And by the way, uh, my assistant Alan here just pointed out a mistake in plain sight. You know, this is why we have to be extra, extra vigilant and careful. I forgot to include this. Silly me. Okay, so even teachers make mistakes. So, um, so this one's in fact 240093. Um, I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.